which I'm pretty hyped about. Dude, the, the two on two are so amazing in Warcraft 3. Like, this is. I don't care what game you thought was the best for two on two, if it's like freaking Goldeneye or whatever, but I can tell you right now, or Quake, you know, which is a pretty great game to be fair. Warcraft 3 2 and 2 is like the best of all time. There is nothing that's more entertaining than that. And it's across all matchups, across all maps. The previous 2 on 2 we saw was mad entertaining. And I'm pretty sure this one will be as well. I want to see more 2 on 2, guys. The more I watch 2 on 2, the more I think my next tournament should be 2 on 2 tournament. Which is just like 16 teams or something. Just like slugging it out, best of fives, like all maps being played. I think that would be sick. Hey Todd, what do you think is the best two on two combo? In the current patch, I really don't know. Hey, what's up, Chris? Welcome, dude. I think before, like a while back, I used to think that Orc Undead was very high up there, as well as Night Elf Undead, like the two best. But that was like when the Keeper was much better. And yeah, Orc Undead's like, Two very good players playing Orc and that is very scary because they get destroyers, they get the tier 3 and that army, and the Orc gets like Spirit Link. And uh, Shadow Hunter to heal everything. The Chinese Stone tutorials were super sick to watch, though most games that turn around. So, really? So, yeah, the community loves watching twos. I mean, a anybody that likes Walker 3 likes 2 on twos, really. 2 on 2 with the old patch was good. I think it's pretty good on this patch as well, to be honest. Might be slightly different meta-wise and like with some of the stuff that you might see, but... So we're back to normal here. Blade Master versus Blade Master. No more Pit Lord shenanigans with a, a Shadow Hunter here from either player. Do you guys think I should turn off the webcam? Or like uh, the, the camera here when uh, I commentate the tournament? I guess it's not as relevant as when I'm, when I'm playing one-on-one. -on -one. I think from next game maybe I'll do it. Gloves of haste on one side, gloves of haste on the other side. And it's gonna be a complete mirror here for now. I was so impressed by Knopf in the previous game. He definitely did his own work. I think on like where and how to get laning shield on his hero to creep quicker. I had never seen a Shadow Hunter creep and get level 3 this fast. That was actually absurd. Abs absolutely absurd. Right, let's see if Cash can find some damage. No, fuck, she doesn't even care about this blade, apparently. She's like, yeah, attack the Spions. I'll be busy collecting another game winning item over here. I almost lost one of in here for a sec. Yo, that blade is so tanky. And then he finds a Cloak of Shadows. Feels bad, man. Well, only if you can replace the camera with the players like in Nation Wars. But it's gonna take quite a bit of a superior setup to what I currently use for that to actually happen. Did he just block him in? No. Why well, he's gonna force the moonwalk? Okay, he tried to. Oh my god, now he did. Wait, there is no TP! He's gonna buy dust and come back. He's locked in! The 300 IQ base, guys. And if he attacks here, he takes damage. If he stays wind walks, then this building will keep on going up. He's gonna dust in range. Close the gates. Oh wait, he didn't close it? Oh, he wants to... He's gonna kill it anyway. Of course he didn't close it. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? And that happens, by the way. As his tier 2 is about to finish. So ideally, usually when your tier 2 finishes, you start your second hero. But now, he can't because he's getting a first hero again. It's a disaster. Knopf with a great move here. I really like that. I feel like when you see this type of base here, you just shouldn't go in, I guess. Which, by the way, Cash wasn't using himself, this kind of thing. So if Knopf had done that, he would have been able to get out. Unless, I guess, Cash maybe could spam buildings, but that would be way too expensive. Knopf immediately knowing that the, his opponent's hero is gone for a while, goes for a big camp, trying to go for a surround here. Oh my god, he might be able to trap some of these units. That one's taking a ton of damage. He doesn't have boots, so actually chasing is going to be very hard, but... Blade does so much damage. Can he get this grunt, guys? 
Yeah, we if he keeps on critting like this, yes. I think the answer is yes. Oh, he gets dusted. Oh my god, did he even come back? Oh my god, he even came back, sniped a grunt, and then got out. That blade's on the hunt as well. Dude, blade level 1 against blade level 3. What am I watching right now? Gets closer to level 2, but not quite there yet. Shadow Hunter. He's gonna come out. Actually, not that much earlier, to be honest. Fucked off. Oh god. There's only one single windwalk, which is gonna force pretty much. Wait, he already. Did he dust? Yeah, he did. If he can hex again. Uh, there's a windwalk, but he didn't use it. Why didn't he windwalk? That's gonna die. What is this clown fiesta I'm watching? Is Orc versus Orc always like this? And why is Knopf this good? What the hell? Holy moly. So he just kills his blade again. It's not very often that I get to watch a game of cash where he loses his hero like twice in like a few minutes. But apparently that's what's happening here. Team Sweden wants blood here. Crystal ball is found. I love how every time you find crystal ball, you use it immediately, and then the opponent, if you if you spot the opponent like this, wherever he is, he's always gonna think, oh yeah, no, you found crystal ball, <laughs> because it's so obvious, like you see the thing spinning. I'll be able to get that. It's looking for a creep jack, maybe. I can't believe Cash's Blade Master is level one. That's insane. Sentry words, one of the best items. On the other side, Knuff knows all of these little tricks. It's insane. Does he succeed in re-trapping? Yes! Still gonna shockwave though. Oh, And Cash is actually coming in, but I think it's gonna be too late. Yeah, especially thanks to that crit. Oh my god, Claws plus 12, guys. Does he go for the grunt? Does he get jebated? Yes, he does. Ooh, one hit and then gets up. I love how the music gets like real epic as well. Berserker Strength just completed. Totally worth it because he's got three, three grunts anyway. Okay, Blade, you already died twice. Don't get sloppy like this. Does he have dust? Oh, he's got the revelation. I think, yeah, he's just gonna do a bunch of damage to it, but not gonna be able to get it. Class plus 12 is absurd, by the way. What a dream item. He uses a dust, but Cash kinda stayed outside of the range. No, that's not Mirror Image, guys. He took the turn! Oh, he. What? He had a miss rally point. He rallied his uh, totem onto his blade master, so one of the spirit walkers showed up on the blade master and got hexed and killed immediately. I don't think you want to fight this cash after this happens, especially against these fat blades with plus fourteen. But apparently, he still wants to fight, so they go for it. And I think Knopf should have a very decent advantage there. He's running way lower on mana than uh, Cash is, to be honest. But I think his Blend Master is supposed to be scary enough here. With the plus 14. Oh my god, he's attacking so fast. It's actually crazy. Going after one of the Spirit Walkers. We'll be able to get out. There's quite a few low 8 point units here that were able to find their way outside of there. Spirit Walker on the other side taking a ton of damage. He pulls it back just on time. Peons are gonna show up to the party. Both raiders are very low. Knopf's gonna land the ensnare. And that's gonna go down as well. And now he can go on the chase. Level 4 Blade Master. Oh my god, with his items in particular. With a crit critical strike uh, level 2. Goes for one of the spirit walkers. The raider is on the hunt as well. And I think that's gonna be one grunt. Ideally, you, you grab the full HP one, yeah. Or like closer to full HP one. Because this other one you don't care about as much. It's already very low. Knopf with the place, guys. Hey, there's... No. No. 
It's right there, dude. Your Shadow Hunter knows he wants it. He's even grabbing a shop actually here on the other side of the map. And that's gonna be level 3, by the way. A very, I mean, I don't think we can do anything about this. They're both so close to level 3. Raider gonna get engaged into. Knopf knows he was one little creep away from level 3 here. So he killed that little crab or whatever. And now he's got it. Pretty much out of mana though. But that Blade Master is taking a ton of damage. He doesn't have the mana for a wind walk. Not quite fully surrounded though. The Blade Master of Knopf is having the most fun out of every unit. Crate for 147. Re engaged. Cash needs to evacuate, I think. He's gonna eat the grunt. Doesn't have a speed scroll, by the way. And there is a shop right there for Knopf. So he can buy clarities, he can get a mana potion, he can sell this piece of garbage crystal ball as well. Yeah, that's gonna be the first clarity. I think he's gonna wait for a mana potion as well. Let's see it, Knopf. He doesn't have the gold, I guess he was producing. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, he got, he missed Rally. One of his raiders, actually. A rider didn't rally. And by the way, that's another tome that he forgot, but I guess he was kind of busy fighting. Please notice it. Please! How is this possible, guys? Are tomes smaller when you're playing the game? There's still the intel over here, I'm pretty sure. What chances are that Cash doesn't pick up the tome that's here? I think pretty low. Yeah. To hit right off the bat. Blade Master is still level 2 on this side, by the way. Whereas we got a Blade Master level 4 on the other side. That's insane. Obviously, some things happen in this game, but. So he found a mana stealing here on this camp. Picks up the tome this time. Maybe they both had like a challenge for this year, you know, like read at least 50 books and they've already read them. So they're like, all right, no more tomes. 50 out of 50 for cash. Starts an additional burrow to actually break that here in a minute. And this time Clough didn't rush tier three too quickly. He actually went for it in a game where he was ahead and still doing well. And now his Kodo is gonna be able to have war drums He's gonna have orb to work with. And his blade master just looks stupidly scary. Plus 23 damage. I just digested something. I saw the XP go up a little bit. I love how you can hear the drums the whole time when you're around. Oh, they're gonna re-engage. Let's see if Cash can make this happen here against a Knopf who's been dominating pretty much the entire game. Killing the Blade Master twice. We've got a healing scroll on both of Cash's heroes here, but that Blade Master is going to town and everything. Kodo literally ran into the middle of the army here of Cash. Is he really gonna make it out? Oh my god. It looked like the Kodo was gonna die, but he actually survives, and I believe he has aura by now, right? Yeah. Shadow Hunter getting surrounded. Blade Master going to work on the back line. Knuff has way more left over, it feels like. 